Taking 77% of the vote in 2013, Ibrahim Boubacar Keita rode to victory on a wave of hope. The country had just emerged from a serious crisis. A coup d'etat had led to the occupation of the vast north of the country by jihadists, followed by French intervention. It was a time of radical change for the state. Through the law of orientation and military planning, voted through by parliament, a great deal of effort has been put into providing equipment for the army to combat terrorism. Another positive element of the president's record is the question of peace. When the president took office, there was fighting between Malians, between the Malian army and former rebels, and also between other armed groups. Then there's been the revival of the economy. Today we have a growth rate that has averaged 5% over the last four years, with record cereal and cotton production. For a second term, Keita is emphasizing continuity. But the opposition is against this criticizing the current corruption and worsening security situation. The type of governance President Keita installed has been clannish, corrupt, disastrous. It's meant that after five years of this, Mali is on edge. The instability and insecurity that had been confined to the Kidal region have now spread throughout the entire north and beyond to the center of our country. President Keita may be pushing continuity as what the country needs, but according to the latest report from the UN Secretary General, Central Mali saw three times as many security-related incidents in 2017 compared to the previous year.